Hey everybody, I want to do the update for the uh, lower deck here. It's getting a little warm outside. You can see I got a little little sweat going. <laughs> I got to take this sweatshirt off. I'm starting to bake out here with the sun coming down. You can see I took off the, uh, the cover for the shade cloth because we had some pretty uh, mild weather the last few days. A few cloudy days and it only got into the mid 70s so I want to let the sun get in here. But today we're getting back up into the 90s. So I'll probably end up putting it back on. I just rolled it up and stuck it underneath there. You can see the, uh, the chard after its, you know, mass trimming seems to be bouncing back. Looking very nice. Just a few holes in here from the birds. But uh, overall we can, got more we can harvest now. And you can see off this crown, see remember how I told you I butchered this, this crown here? You can see all the new growth that's coming out of that. So just because you get a big crown like this, and it's got a bunch of leaves on it that are out of control, you can always cut it back, maybe leave one or two big leaves on it. It'll keep that alive. You'll start seeing new growth come out of the center here. So that's gonna be a nice thing. Cause that's, that, that's the, uh, the rainbow chard. And these are really good, these yellows and the reds. And you know, the white, the Silverado chard's also very good. But the thinning also helped bring a little more light in. So you can see this uh, cabbage took a little more new growth. The marigolds are coming up. You can see the, the heads are about to open up. Chives, looking good. Paula came through and we had a dinner with our kale and she kind of chopped off a bunch of these down low so we'll have new growth coming down here from the roots. Or the stalk, I guess whatever's left of the stalk here. It sends off new growth. So we gotta wait for that to grow. And we had our onions, so they're all pretty much chopped off now. And you can see these marigolds look like they're about to pop open. Hopefully they'll pop open this week so we can start getting some more color on this lower deck. And of course, you know, this one here, the cabbage is just going great. I mean, look at that. Get an upshot here for you going down. This ring of marigolds does seem to be having the effect that I wanted it to have because I've noticed that the white moths that are uh, flying around through here, they uh, seem to be getting confused. And I don't know if it's the scent of the, uh, the marigolds or what, but I'm not seeing any kind of caterpillar activity and you know, the leaves don't look like they've been nibbled on a whole lot. As you can tell, I mean, there's a few spots, maybe a little here, a little there, but overall these look really healthy by having these uh, companion plants right here to distract the uh, white moth. Then of course we have the uh, kale here. You know we had we harvested off a bunch of this this week for our dinner so I guess you know kale is kale. <laughs> I took the shade cloth. I put the shade cloth on it last weekend but I, I took it off just because we had that cooler weather so I'll probably put it back over the top this next week if the temperatures get too hot. I guess last thing on the deck. Go over here and show you the basil. We had some of this with our, uh, our burgers last night. We had a mixture of uh, lettuce greens and basil to put on the burgers, and our kids seemed to have really like that. I thought that was kind of a cool taste. <laughs> Crazy dad in his gardens. But, uh, you know, it's doing well over here on the side of the house. Couldn't be happier. Give you a shot of the sunflowers down there as we're wrapping up the video. All right. It's been Brian from PB Homesteading. Hope you guys enjoy these videos and uh, I enjoy making them and sharing the, uh, the love of gardening that I have. All right, talk to you guys again. Bye.